All right, I am going to show you how to collaborate uh, within the live binders. There's a couple of steps that we have to go through, um, and then we can start sharing what we're doing uh, around the live binders that we, we're creating, specifically around the one that we're planning for Twitter. The first thing you need to do is sign up for a live binder account, and once you do that, you'll need to log in. And I'm going to use my regular login for the moment and show you my library of binders. Once I'm in and I'm in my own library, all of my binders have an options button underneath them. That options button lets me do several things. I can email this binder to other people, I can embed it, I can edit it, present it, delete it, but collaborate is also one of the options. Any binder that I create, I have this option to collaborate with other people by bringing them in via email. So when I click that collaborate button, it asks me to invite collaborators. So in this case, I'm going to invite uh, myself via the Curriculum 21 account that I created within Life Binders, which I sent you all the username and password for. I add that email address in, and I can add anybody else into this um, Sylvia, Bill, Heidi, Ann, Jean, anybody, Earl. <clears throat> I type in my email address here. and my first and last name and I click the send button and so now I've invited the curriculum 21 channel um, into a collaborative partnership around this particular um, live binder called the elementary holiday webtacular and it's all the web stuff that I've been saving around uh, Christmas traditions around the world so um, now curriculum 21 uh, as a user can edit and add to this particular binder. Now the person who created the binder maintains the universal control over the way that things look in the binder but other people can now add stuff to it. So right now I am going to log out of my binder and I'm going to log into the Curriculum 21 binder. The password's already there. And now that I've logged in, even though Curriculum 21 as a, a username hasn't added anything yet, because I've emailed um, a collaboration invitation, now there are three binders in here that you can add things to. And you can do that by clicking on the actual live binder here and clicking on the tabs the way that I do, like as the creator, and adding more things in here, add new sub tab. Um, adding additional tabs here and putting in the web address. But you can also use the Live Binder Bookmarklet tool. And the way that you use that is under the Create Binder tab, there's a Bookmarklet tool here. And all you have to do is drag and drop this tool up to your uh, toolbar. And once you have that in there, in your toolbar you can go anywhere you want to on the internet let's say we want to go to Twitter and I want to put this in or maybe it's a Twitter resource that we're going to add to a collaborative binder that we're creating once I've got this in here I can click on that live binder tool and this is what pops up <clears throat> it tells me the URL that I've chosen it's given me a title for my tab and under my existing binders it'll tell me which binders are being shared that I can collaborate on and I can choose whichever one I want to add this particular web address to and I can put it in a tab or a sub tab that I've already created I'm gonna make it its own tab to make it easy to get rid of I click on add to existing binder it tells me that it's been added um, and then I can click to view this particular live binder and now Twitter has been added as a tab. I could have also added it as a sub tab under any one of the tabs that were already here. But that in a nutshell is how you collaborate on a binder. Just make sure if you do that and you come back to the binder that you click save. And then if there's any questions or anything you can certainly email me to ask. Alright, hope this helps. Send me an email if I can help. MikeFisher821 at gmail.com or Mike at Curriculum21.com. Have a good night.